Crowds cheered on the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Hear them? My gosh, as they walked from their country estate to St. Mary Magdalene Church, uh, it was there that baby Charlotte was christened. Our Aaron McLaughlin is live for us now from London. So Aaron, uh, Charlotte's brother, <laughs> Prince George, well, he was center stage too because uh, he was christened at a chapel in central London. This was a little different, but you know, he was wearing something rather spectacular, I guess paying homage to his dad. Yeah, that's right. Prince George was wearing uh, some red shorts, a very similar outfit to what Prince William wore when Prince William was a baby and met Prince Harry for the very first time at the hospital. So a little nod to history there. Uh, lots of attention, of course, also paid to what Kate was wearing. She was wearing an Alexander McQueen coat and a Jane Taylor hat. And this was a very special moment for the royal family. As you said there, Prince George was christened in London, well, Princess Charlotte christened in a place called Sandringham, and this is not far from where Prince William and Kate now live. It's also the place where the royal family every year gathers to celebrate Christmas, and every year they go on this very same walk to the church. Now, I'm told uh, the ceremony itself lasted around 45 minutes. It went absolutely smoothly, and there were historic <laughs> touches throughout. Uh, the baptismal font, uh, which they brought in especially from London uh, is called the Lily font uh, and this is the first time this particular font was actually brought outside of London outside of a royal palace so it was incredibly ornate brought in with special security and I understand that baby Charlotte was baptized with water from the River Jordan as well now after the ceremony concluded they had a reception for friends and very close family uh, on the estate they had tea and cake and I also understand that Mario Testino the famed photographer was brought in for a family portrait.